months and it was the worst experience I could ever think of. I didn't have the family support and just trying to get through it on my own was so hard. More than one million American youth, like this young woman, become homeless each year, and almost half of them are at risk for sexual exploitation, like forced prostitution or child pornography. But I may have found a way to help keep Chicago youth off the streets and out of those situations. There's a program from UCLA that re-engages homeless youth with their families by working on family communication skills and problem solving. The STRIVE program, which stands for Support to Reunite, Involve, and Value One Another, has reduced substance abuse and delinquent behavior for kids in Los Angeles, and I think it's the perfect tool to scale and customize for Chicago youth. Dawn is actually taking this intervention now and trying to ask the question, would it work for youth who've been commercially sexually exploited? What she's focusing on are probably among the most traumatized young people in the system. As a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I've worked with children who faced homelessness and sexual exploitation. It puts kids at increased risk of sexual assault and violence and can cause lasting trauma. Children who find themselves out in the streets or living away from that supportive network are more likely to not be able to deal with that trauma in a way that's going to allow them to be able to progress with their lives. I'll partner with community organizations and experts who work with sexually exploited children, as well as the youth themselves, to take Stride to Chicago families. I'll also collaborate with advocacy groups to make Stride as effective as possible. I didn't really have the support that I needed. Being able to live today knowing that if it wasn't for the help of Don, I would not be here. I probably would have succeeded with suicide attempts or allow homelessness to be the definition of my life. By moving her project into the community, she stands to intervene at an earlier time to get these kids the help that they need. And this is just the beginning. Once Taylor we'd like to scale it citywide. Look at me now, I'm still here, I'm still standing, and because of the grace of God and because of wonderful women like Don, I am able to still stand in the face of life and tell life, you think you got me, but I got you.